Howdy friends, and welcome to The Average J. It is movie day. For the first time since the COVID outbreak, Michelle and I are actually going to go see a movie. It's been, well, over a year. I can't, couldn't even tell you what the last movie we actually went to the theater to see was. But we are going to see Godzilla vs. Kong. And I'm not going to give away which monster I want to win. Um, I try to remain neutral in fights. Um, I don't think anybody should ever take sides between two monsters. You know, they're both good monsters. They both have good stories, have had good movies. So I am completely neutral. Don't let anybody tell you differently that I'm not completely neutral. But seriously, it's going to be kind of interesting to go to the movies. We bought our tickets ahead of time online, and from what I understand, you're able to still use the concessions, you can still get popcorn, you can still get a soda. I'm going to document and see what we're able to do and what we're not able to do. But I'm not going to be able to show little clips of the movie because that would be copyright infringement and won't be able to do it. But it doesn't mean that there's not going to be spoilers at the end. If I talk about it. So if you're like really wanting to see the movie. I'm not going to give big spoilers. But I might give little teeny itty bitty pieces. Alright. So we'll see you at the movies. Till then we'll see you at the movies. Before we head to the theater. We thought we would uh, stop and grab a bite to eat. So I am. Um, Actually, stopping at the bank first, and it is pouring outside. So, it's miserable. It is miserable. Miserable. <laughs> the weather's miserable, but we are not. No, we're not. <laughs> For dinner, we decided to go to Cinder Bar right here in Clarksboro, I guess it's considered. So, we've eaten here before. Brittany used to work here actually for quite some time uh, as a hostess, but they have some really good food. You can have a drink. And, uh, I don't know, we haven't been here in forever. I think over we had, a year. it's been over a year, but I think we did take out at one point during the pandemic, but oh. that was, even then that was like during the summertime, yeah. but they did enclose the outside area that, uh, with like a tent that used to be all outside. And then they took side parking and made that into additional outside seating, which is bizarre. That's good. No, it is good because this place gets super so busy, good. especially on the weekends. Yep. <laughs> we have gotten our drinks. Michelle got her <laughs> Grey Goose and Cranberry, although they did not have Cran Grape. That's like. Her normal go-to is the cream grape, and I just went with the regular screwdriver. We ordered the, I got the French onion grilled cheese, and Michelle got the short rib cheesesteak. Short rib cheesesteak. Now, she's had that a number of times, so she always likes that. I got the grilled cheese, the French onion grilled cheese, because down at the Epcot Food and Wine, they had a... Um, French onion style grilled cheese sandwich that was just phenomenal at the Festival of the Arts. So I wanted to compare it to see what the difference would be. Hopefully, hopefully it's even half as good as that sandwich down there. Because with all the good foods we had down there, that was probably in my top three. A grilled cheese sandwich. Holy moly. So we will give you the food review after. For my sandwich, the French onion grilled cheese, I gotta say it is different from the one I had down in Florida. The one down in Florida had a thicker bread and the, the onion to it was from the bread. It was an onion bread. This actually has like French onion soup in it, it the, the type of onions that are in it. So it's a, it's a really good taste, a real good strong oniony taste and I like that. Um, I think I like the taste of this one better, but I think I like the crunchiness of that huge thick bread better on the one in Florida. 
it is time for Michelle's review. Wow. It is good as usual. It is super good. I just love this sandwich and the fries. What's your favorite part of it? There's um, the onions and the truffle, uh, truffle sauce. Yeah, some kind <laughs> of sauce. So there you go. <laughs> so, I got it on the menu. But yeah, it, it's super good. <laughs> so two thumbs up? Definitely. <laughs> well, we couldn't eat at all um, because we wanted to save room for dessert, but Michelle had half for her sandwich and there's a little less than half of my sandwich left. Uh, Michelle took a couple nibbles of it and I took another bite off of it. <laughs> so this will go home to somebody. Oh. Michelle and I decided to get dessert. We got the cookie with the vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and chocolate syrup on a hot iron platter. What do you think, hon? Oh my God, it looks delicious. <laughs> Does look good. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> well, dig in. We have made it into the theater. Woohoo! <laughs> so we got about uh, 15, 17 minutes till the movie starts. So we're gonna head in, get some popcorn, and get our seats. Well, you can't really see us, but we are in the theater. And the movie's gonna start shortly. Right now, they're just doing like previews and stuff. So, Michelle, show the popcorn. So we got the popcorn and the soda, and just waiting for the milk. There's the soda. Boom. So there's like one seat between me and the next person. There's nobody on Michelle's side, but on this side, you know, they saved one seat. I'm surprised too. I thought there'd be at least two, but at least there's one. And they have signs that say you got to keep your mask up over your nose. That's good. I guess unless you're actively eating. Right. Which I will be. Yeah. <laughs> We are back from the movies, and I mean, I cannot, I would have never guessed that Kong and Godzilla both got killed by Mothra. <laughs> that was just, I, I did not see that coming, you know? Yes, because you did it. <laughs> oh, okay. So that, that's not what happened, really. But uh, the movie wasn't bad. I mean, the action scenes were great, but the story had a lot of holes in it. Had a few, like, really hokey parts. Mm -hmm. So... If you're going to watch like a you know a super masterpiece Oscar winning movie, right, might not yeah. be the movie it's for you. It's your classic monster movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Saturday morning. It doesn't look like somebody in a ru <laughs> rubber costume. You know. It's, yeah, it was good. The, the fight scenes were excellent. Yeah. You know. Special effects were good. Yeah. Visually, yeah. it was it was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say, you know, we had popcorn and a soda. The popcorn. They don't have the little machines dispensing butter. They give you like a little individual cup. Dixie cup of butter. You put it on yourself. Um, I was surprised that you get your own soda. You know, yeah, I would have thought they would have had it from the back and give it to you. But, but you, you can know. get your own at Wawa and everywhere else. So I guess right. Be your and between groups, there was one empty seat. Mm -hmm. um, there was an empty seat between me and the people to my right and. Uh, seat between Michelle and the people to her left and oh there were people that came in after the movie already started like a group of people yeah I can't stand that pet peeve you know people coming in after a movie but all in all uh, it was great just to go out great night at dinner great night at the movies you know and uh, we kept our masks on we, we ate did. popcorn in the beginning and the soda but the rest of the movie we kept it on there was a lot of people who did yeah there were people they say don't have your mask off unless you're eating they weren't eating and they just kept the mask off, but we did. We did. <laughs> but with that, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a fantastic evening. <laughs>